so let's let's transition a little bit towards the future too for your for your pursuits and one of the things that i was thinking about there is that somewhat still relates to your new book but then also to what you're now intending to work on from what i gather is where well, i want to talk a little about the red shirts and we have two versions of this one of them being garibaldi's guys that invade sicily in 1860 and then eventually during reconstruction wade hampton leading his red shirts to overthrow the reconstruction government in south carolina and we have these accusations of red republicans that are sometimes thrown out this kind of fears that associate with revolutionary working class increasingly upheavals that are starting and in part i kind of want to how how are we going to think about this are you seeing a break that red red shirts red republicans mean things differently between the civil war era antebellum era and reconstruction are you going to tackle that in your future projects um in part where you're headed with what you're going to do yeah you know ironically actually the garibaldi red shirt versus the violent reconstruction red shirts was actually one of the first questions i was interested in when i started working on this topic way back in grad school so yes that's absolutely something i'm going to circle back to and my next work which is going to continue this analysis and reconstruction and look at how Southerners used international perspectives to reshape, reclaim, and remake American nationalism during and after reconstruction. And yeah, it's a great question um, because you're right, There, there's all this color symbology, if you will, of red that's being flung around, you know, red Republicans. The Southerners I look at loathed red Republicans. They were the European nationalists that these Southerners thought were doing it wrong. They were too liberal. They were trying to give too much social equality. Red Republicans worked with black Republicans and subverted democracy and the ideas of these white Southerners. So red Republicans were bad, but of course Garibaldi and his red shirts were good. So like I say, they these Southerners draw comparisons with Garibaldi. They wear and purchase Garibaldi clothes. So Garibaldi hats and you know, it's kind of this branding campaign that is being advertised in the newspapers. So red shirts are good. And then of course, as you point out during reconstruction, some Southerners wear the red shirt themselves when carrying out horrific racist attacks mm -hmm. against a more biracial egalitarian form of government. And um, yeah, so that's where my research is going next. I don't know that I have any clear answers to that at this point, other than it certainly is a question that I think is worthy of studying. And my plan is to do just that. 